Chapter 58, Crap Geezer. Let's take a look at it. The fight continues between the buggy's crew because they think he's dead and they've been fighting all night. They're beat up. And the crew leader's going to be the lion instead. <laughs> buggy's crew after the battle. Part 17, intense 12-hour battle. Crash. That's our situation. We're still in this flashback. We can't waste our strength fighting each other. Crap, geezer. If I do see a ship, I'm not going to tell him. He can die. I'll survive on my own. Sanji says. I can see a long way out on the ocean. If I watch for four or five days, I'm bound to see a ship. And there's no sign that orbit sank. So it could still come and rescue me. Thinking it over well. I do have a whole five days worth of food. But this is a matter of life and death, so I'll divide it into 20 portions just to be safe. That means less than one meal a day, but the depressions in the rock are full of rainwater, so I'll make it. If I stay alive for 20 days, the ship's gotta come. I'm sure to be rescued, no sweat, Sanji says. Scree, scree. The, bir the birds are, or the se seagulls are chirping. Tup, he's eating a little bit of bread. Germ. And then he drinks some water. Glug, glug. Glug, 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 glug. Yes, splash. As he puts his head in the water. Gargle. Maybe I'll eat just a little more. Germ. Gulp. Glug, 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 glug. No, I divided the food into 20 daily portions, and this is the only, this is only the first day. His stomach is scrumbling again. Stop rumbling, darn it. Stop. He hits himself in the stomach. Whack, whack. Oh, germ. Oh. He sits on the side of the rock. Silence. As the water just hits the rock sides. No ships today, Sanji says. I just gotta hang on to two or three more days. Day five. Put, put, put. This rain's gonna make it hard to see a ship. Pouring. Shh. Hey, help! A ship! Fire! Gotta light a fire to see him! Clack, clack. He can't get it to burn though. Darn, the wood's too wet to burn. Wait, don't go, he yells. I'm here. Please wait. Don't go. Help me. Rim, rim. Hey. Rim, rim, rim. The ship is pulling away. It's leaving. Darn it. He puts his head down to the ground as it's gone. Day 25 has come now. My last piece of bread, mostly mold. Shuck. Sigh, what a waste. They left so much food. Cut that out. You're eating off dirty plates like dogs. I just threw out some food that looked bad. He's thinking of when they were on the ship. How about it? Want some? No thanks. As he eats the piece of moldy bread. Plunk. And he throws it, actually drops him. Whoa, no splash. He drops it in the water. My last piece of bread, I'm starving. He lays down on the ground, reaching out. Crush, crush. They reach day 30. It'll come soon now. Day 50. Day 70. He's beat up. Sounds like looks pretty beat up. Crap geezer. Probably dead. I'm a grown man. I got a bigger stomach than you. Ugh. He's still alive. Chris. And look at all the food he's still got. So much. So much food. Shit. He goes on there. This is, this is all that crap geezer's fault anyway. I'll get that food if I have to kill him. I want to live. What do you want, Eggplant Head? Zeph says. You see a ship? I came for your food. 
Kill me if you think you can. I'm dead anyway if I don't eat soon. Zap says shrink share. He cuts into the bag. All this just for you. What? What? He says. Clank, clank. Clink. Until you see a ship, I said no contact. Why, it's all treasure. A fortune in gold. And nothing to eat. Funny, huh? Huh? The whole bag? It's all treasure? What about the food? How have you survived? You said you needed more food. What? Wump. He looks at him. His body's all bones. What happened? Your foot. You. Your own foot. You ate it? That's right, Zev said. The food. You gave it all to me. He's crying. Thinking it over well. I do have a whole five days worth of food. Yes. But without your foot, you can't be a pirate anymore. Reckon not, Zev says. But, Sanji's crying. Why you do that? For me, I was going to kill you. I never gave you a reason to be kind to me. So why? Why? Because you had the same dream as me, Zev says. What all blue? But your men said there's no such thing. It exists, Zev says. When the time comes, head for the Grand Line. We couldn't find it in a year's voyage, but what I saw there made me believe in the hall blue. But now I've lost the crew I would have sailed there with. I don't feel like being a pirate without them. They didn't believe in the all blue, but they were good hearted fools. They were a good bunch, Zeph says. Hey, hey, geezer, don't die, Wump, he falls over. You can't die, not after what you did. The ocean is vast and brutal. The vastness of this ocean. People die cursing it. How many people has it swallowed? In all my years as, I, as a pirate, I've been in a lot of tough spots where there was nothing to eat. And every time I thought, if only there was a restaurant smack in the middle of the ocean. A restaurant? That's right. If I get off this rock alive, I'm going to build it if it's the last thing I ever do. In this age of pirates, I may be the only man who could ru run a grub shop like that. Okay, I'll help you. Just don't die, Sanji says. Humph. It'll be too hard for a puny eggplant head. I'll become strong, he says. To 85. Hey. Uh, on that rock, people. Two of them just lying there. They're still breathing. About three months ago, I heard someone shouting around here one stormy day. What is that? What is that true? You ate your own foot, leaving all the food for me. You saved my life, Erin. Sanji's crying as he's on the ground. Sanji, Luffy says. Now we've jumped back to present. Hey. Jin still got the gun pointed right at um, Zeph's head. My surprise, Pearl says. How did you? How did he survive a direct hit? Whoa, he's on his feet. I won't let you have this restaurant, and I won't let you kill the crap geezer either. Whoa, that fool sacrificed himself to save a worthless boy. Sanji says. So I'll defend him with my life and pay my debt. To the crap geezer. Princess Hannah has just. Hmm. End of another chapter. We are done with another chapter. It was another good one. Another question corner. Seth of the ocean going restaurant has braids under his nose. Is that a mustache nose hair figure? They're phony tails. The scientific name is Phonus Balonus tails. Huh. Oda Sensei. I'm Akinori. I, I can already, I thought of an amazing move. One, Luffy stretches his arm. Two, Zoro cuts the, that arm off. Three, the arm goes flying. Note this technique can only be used twice. Hey, hey, hey. He says, Dear Otakins, I'm your fi fiance. When when are we going to get married? How about 11 1? We're going to kiss at the wedding, right? Ooh, how exciting. Smack, smack, smack. I'm Nami Amaru's younger sister. 
Okay, I'll visit you in the hospital. <laughs> this is to the guy who said the Zora sash made him look like an old man in the question corner volume four. It's your problem, man. At first I also thought a cool guy like Zoro is 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 a is a sash. But if that's part of Zoro, I accept it. Yes, I accept it. So you should too. Okay, let's be friends. Wow, friendship blossoming between my readers. How heartwarming. Buggy's top half can fly, right? Or photo anyway. Then it should be able to fly to the Grand Line. So why does he? He can't go that far. The powers of the Chop Chop food have limits. His body parts can only scatter up to a diameter of 200 Chop Chops. Once this limit is exceeded, control is no longer possible. Okay. That was interesting. Quite interesting this last chapter to see how Zeph cut off his own leg to eat it. <laughs> that was interesting. And then left all the food for him. So that Sanji would live. Well, yeah, that was a deep chapter. Very interested to see how this battle will now continue as we come back to current current day in the story. So, okay, I'm going to stop the recording. We'll go to chapter 59 next.